been another interesting week in tech. Let's find out what happened. It's been an absolute roller coaster from breakthrough product launches to mind bending research experiment and some Hollywood style drama at OpenAI making these huge mega deals with all these companies. So what did we learn about from our AI summaries of all the content that we learned this week? Let's find out. Next gen AI innovations and product updates. First up, TechFront is buzzing with a revolutionary product news. I caught a video on AI news, even toilets have AI now, where the host broke down a slew of new tools from powered browsers like Atlas, Perplexity Comet, which we've all talked about in the past, Google's VO3, Microsoft's new image model, MAI Image One, terrible name. And then lots of platforms that are just getting AI features thrown into them, but we don't dive too much into those little tools and platforms. We cover more of the big broad stroke AI stuff and changes. Really, Gemini 3 is being brought into things and added into other tools. Project Suncatcher, that's an interesting one, where Google will now launch satellites that are powered by solar, running their TPUs, tensor processing units, which are different to the AI chips that OpenAI uses, that's Google's AI chip. And they're launching, planning on launching satellites in space, running AI in space, communicating with each other within a short cluster. I think they said within a couple hundred meters radius of each other using lasers to communicate information and then beaming the data back down. Why this would be happening? I'm guessing it's gonna end up being cheaper than running on Earth. You'll get more power from the sun, so it's gonna be cheaper. It won't get as hot because you're in space as well. Probably more benefits there than what the video was talking about. So that's a really interesting one. Section two, boardroom dramas and high stake deals in AI. So there's a lot of videos came out this week due to a lawsuit from Elon Musk against OpenAI going from nonprofit to profit. And there was information that was coming out of depositions had with Ilya Sutskova and Sam Altman about his firing back in was it last year sometime. And then he was back a week later. So a lot of stuff of that happening. I won't go into the boringness of it, but at that point, Anthropic submitted themselves to purchase OpenAI at that point. And one of the board members was talking shit on OpenAI and was praising Anthropic. They kicked him out, he came back in, they think he lied about something, and yeah, it's interesting. There's a movie already scheduled to be made about that, I just can't remember who's going to be Sam Altman. Plenty of videos talking about it, let's not dive into too much more detail. And then there's another video between OpenAI and Amazon, where it's a 38 billion deal for OpenAI to use Amazon Tech to power their inference. I think apparently in total, OpenAI has committed to $1.4 trillion dollars of build and compute use over all the partners and the recent deals that they've made. Apparently they made 14 billion in revenue this year, but apparently Sam Altman said it's higher. He's sick of people asking the question about how they're gonna to commit to that, but they're committing on future growth and where they're expecting everything to go and the breakthroughs that are gonna happen. So I reckon they'll get there, Like I don't see what will stop them. AI research, self-awareness, and automation limits. There's also some two videos that explored the cutting edge experiments and introspection. One discussed how Anthropic's latest paper and experiments with injected neural concepts are pushing our understanding of large language models towards emergent introspective behavior. This was a little bit like Inception where the picture frame is crooked and then they ask the AI for what words come to mind immediately that's not part of its reasoning. And it says like angle, crooked, straight, fixed, correct. When they inject in the model, which I didn't understand how they did this, and they said the word bread, it just responded with bread first. Until you queried it and it goes, yeah, the bread's correct. Are you sure? And then it went back and corrected itself. No, that's not correct. I don't know why I said it. I don't think this means consciousness at all. You're putting it into memory. You're giving it its state and you're telling it that's what it should do. So it's got nothing to do with being conscious and that sort of stuff. It's a lot of bull crap in these sort of papers that come out. And then there was another one that talked about introspection during meditation or Bolivian conditioning. In a refreshing reality check, a study revealed that the current AI systems can automate about two and a half percent of jobs when tested against freelance projects. This one was interesting. They went into a freelance website in contact with freelancers, paid them to give them the details about the job and the output that was created gave all of those jobs after they cleaned it with things that could actually be done by agents, not just LLMs. And it ended up being about two and a half percent of the tasks that were created by the agent were preferred over the human creations. The number may seem small, but it's complete end-to-end -end workflow on general tasks. Apparently it excelled when it came to image and video creation and then in programming as well. So there's different domains, general domains across business, two and a half percent automation. 
It may not seem like much, but I think that's a huge number already for a complete agentic workflow chain where it's just trying to figure it out from scratch. If you build dedicated tools that use AI and leverage things, you get a much better result. So that is a small number, huge result, but still very, very early days. So that's really that whole study comes into understanding what is the actual economic benefit of all of this AI and agents that we're using in the code bases and systems to figure out, is there something really useful that's coming out of it? Like what's the reason for investing all this money to make it work? And then here's another article, or it's in a specific section about Sam Altman Spotlight, where he lost his cool filled in questions about the 1.4 trillion computer spend, which I mentioned before. He said in that discussion, when he was quite frank with whoever was asking it, he was daring a challenge to short sellers saying that he'd love to see them fail. They're making strategic risks based on where they see things are going, how they know what's happening. They've got their hardware division that's going to be launching soon. Like they will get to this number. It's not just ChatGPT subscriptions that driving it. Everything's going to have AI in it soon. That's really what I sort of covered this week. This sounds, seems a bit short, but a lot of drama about the open AI and the court case that's happening and the things that are coming to light now, which people didn't know about a year ago. Not many deals have been made this week, not much launches, no new real products, but yeah, still things to keep up with. There's plenty of tools and software that are using AI that have updates and changes and people go through and make detailed videos of those, but I'm not covering that sort of stuff. But otherwise, good luck keeping up with everything in the world of AI.